Winter is done. Summer is almost here. Hi guys, welcome back to Besame. As you can see, I bought a new camper. You remember the old one? We had to crank up the roof, pull out the bed. It was just too much work for me. So I thought I deserve this one. It's a hybrid, which means the roof is already raised at least. So when we get to our spot, we just pop out the beds on the two ends and we're good to go. Let's check out inside. So as you enter here, first thing you see is a queen size bed and that makes up the entire first bedroom. We have a little shelf above here, a little hook for a key right there. And down here we have a little fuse box. Over here, we have this little panel. It controls water pump, water heater, tank levels, interior and exterior lights, and so on. Then we have a microwave right here, a stove with an oven. And below here we have a cupboard. I just keep shoes and stuff inside. It's easy to put the shoes there when we come in. Over here we have a double sink and we have a little cupboard above it. We put all kinds of stuff that we cook or all types of food stuff we store there. We have one below the sink as well. The children's snacks, whatever is easy for them to access, we keep it down here. Then we have these drawers, bric-a-brac drawers, I call them. Everything is in these drawers. Oh, and here we have our manual for the camper and below it, that, there's a fan. Now this fan goes above the bed and there's two of them. So it works like this. You take this little plug-in, put it up in here and then you clip the fan onto the roof bracket you can slide it all the way out so the coily wire is straight and light fan and it makes a nice little white noise helps with sleep it's really cool we have other lights too as you can see all over the roof <laughs> yeah those are good and bright and even under the covers here. Plus we have speakers, surround sound for our TV and our radio. Oh yes, there's a cat. Our cat goes camping with us. And that's a double bed the cat is on. And this dining table also turns into a bed. And what's cool, the benches actually turn into storage. We store our swimming stuff in here. Now up here we have our TV. We can connect it to our laptop for movies and stuff. And we have a radio up here as well. We have AC. A furnace for heat. Oh yes, yeah, Skylar is here too. She sleeps in this cage. Right above that we have a proper little fridge with a freezer on top and a sensible sized bottom right next to the fridge we have a pantry but we've repurposed it we give each child a shelf and they can store their clothes for easy access now this is our bathroom and it has a proper toilet inside so this toilet is really cool because you can flush it with your feet and right above it, we have a fan that takes out whatever excess moisture or odor might be in this tiny bathroom. We have a skylight as well. It's really bright. It gives us a lot of light in here. And we have a stand-up shower. And there I am. Hi. <laughs> now, right behind that mirror, we have our little cupboard. We can store all kinds of stuff there as well. And below the sink is another storage. I keep the cleaning stuff down there. 
and basically we have hot water cold water just like when we're at home now this is just a privacy curtain for the bedrooms we have those so we can just protect uh, our privacy if we have to change our clothes and the bathroom is in use for example we can change on the beds and then we're outside again and underneath the camper we have these little doors that lead to some major storage areas so all the camping chairs and stuff are under there out front here we have a propane holder two propane tanks are in it and then on the other side here, we have another area we can enter our storage that's underneath the camper. We have charcoal or barbecue, stuff that we use to catch the tires and so on. And this is the vent where the fr fridge connects so it can get air. And then these are all our connections for water, electricity, and where it connects to the campground. So that's basically it. Now to pull a camper like this, we had to have a stronger vehicle than the Dodge Caravan we had before. So this is a Chevrolet Tahoe and it can pull 8,500 pounds. So it's pretty cool for pulling this camper, which is only like 3,600 pounds, I believe. And we go all over the place and have a lot of fun. It's great. Anyway, until next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.